Right now, I'm playing Spyro, a PlayStation 1 game, on my PlayStation Portable. It has excellent screen quality, the controls work great, I have every single control accessible with this system, and I'm going to show you how to do that today. The first thing you're going to have to do is download Alcohol 120%. It's a 30 day trial and after the trial it's $40. I searched endlessly for a free product but I'm sorry but this is the only product that I know that can actually handle these PlayStation 1 discs. If you find a better one or a free one please leave a comment so the others can follow. Otherwise install this program and load as many PS1 games as possible in a 30 day period and then after that you're either going to have to use a different computer and load the software on it for an additional 30 days or you'll have to buy the program. So after you download it which you can find easily by typing alcohol 120 percent download in a search engine hit run hit run again if you have Windows Vista. Then a wizard will come up. Click next. By the way, this is version 1.9.7, so the installation and then also the actual product itself will look very different if they upgrade to new versions, and I'm sure they will. So after you read through the license agreement, hit I agree. it'll install something so just wait it says setup must restart windows and continue installation after reboot would you like to restart now more than likely this will come up for you as well so if it does simply hit OK. At this point it will automatically restart your computer and I'll fast forward through this and I'll see you back when it boots up. Okay so my computer is just now booting up and once it does boot up it'll ask you if you want to run this file this is what we need to run for the installation to continue so we will hit run alright so here we are back in the wizard hit next hit I agree now I recommend unchecking this box it'll put a, um, a toolbar in your explorer and personally I like mine without toolbars so I'm going to uncheck this hit next and you can just leave all those checked you can uh, just leave it in the destination folder that is defaulted and hit install After this, it will ask if you want to run it now, and it will also ask if you want to add alcohol virtual drive at first run. Now, I'm going to uncheck this because personally I don't need it, and we don't need it for this tutorial. And we are going to leave this checked, so let's hit finish. Now you have to wait a couple seconds and then the OK button will activate. This is just reminding you that this is a trial. So hit OK. And here's the program. It's asking us to please wait, so we'll just wait here until it's finished. All right. Now there's several things you can do with this program. It's actually pretty versatile, but 
we have one thing in mind, and that is getting PlayStation 1 games on our PSPs. So, up in the corner, you'll see Image Making Wizard. That's what we want. So let's click on that. Then over here, you want to select the drive that the uh, PS1 game is in. I recommend maximum read speed. Down here, you can leave all those boxes checked the way that they are. Now, for data type, let me just check. Okay, you don't have to uh, mess with data type at all, so um, let me put in my PlayStation 1 game. Yes, I do realize I should have already done this, but you wouldn't have been able to see my arms if I uh, already had it in. So, um, you just wait for the next button to highlight. Actually, this is popping up. If anything pops up, you can just hit the X button. What we're waiting on is for that next button right there to activate. So, hmm. Alright, let's uh, go up here again. If you have this trouble, just X out of it. Go back into Image Making Wizard. And then you'll see that the next button works now. So evidently that's a bug in the program. So if you do have that problem, just X out of it, go cancel, and then go back inside. After the next button is activated, hit the next button. Now, it's going to ask you a few questions here. First, it's going to ask you where you want to put it. Now, for me, I'm going to put it on a desktop so it's easily accessible. So, click on desktop. The image name down here really doesn't matter, but we're going to call it Spyro because that's the game. And it'll help me remember what it is. Image format. You will want to change this to ISO. Alrighty, and then after that, hit start. And I'm going to fast forward past this part. Okay, so now it just got done, and all it does is close out of the wizard, and you're back on the main page. So let's go ahead and exit out of this. It also popped open my CD-ROM drive. Um, the next thing you're going to want to do is download ice T. Now, this is the version I'm using, and this is the search tag that I used to find the download. So, I'm going to just kind of hover on this for a second. You can hit the pause button and write it down, or however you'd like to do it. And then right down here, just click on the very top search result. It'll take you to qj.net, and on towards the bottom of the article, you'll see a link that says Download Ice-T version 1.3. Click on that. 